The Same. one disappointment was, of course, the building. Um, because, you know, we had, I had made overtures with the nuns regarding the building. Um, I learned through looking at uh, minutes and, and documents that uh, uh, the executive director of self-help made an annual report to the sisters about the building and about how self-help was going because they were uh, ostensibly in charge of the building, although they did not own the building. The archdiocese owned the building. But I learned that also by looking through documents and um, through files there, because I would go through on Saturdays and just start looking through all the files, month after month after month, and there's a lot of files. So I ran into all kinds of interesting things. But one of the things I ran into was the fact that the archdiocese owned, actually owned the building, and that the nuns had a, a, a I don't get legal, uh, ha had the right for the use of the building as long as it was used as an arts institution. But if they stopped using it as an arts institution, it would revert back to the archdiocese. So I wanted to make reports to the sisters. I wanted to go meet with them. You know, and I started wrote letters and, you know, about the building. And I wanted to see about how we stabilized the building because I wanted control of the building so that I could then go to foundations and get money to renovate the building. You know, uh, they weren't going to give us that if we didn't have effective control of the building. They wanted like a 25-year lease, you know, on the building so that then we would be able to do this. Um, well, there was never any real response. Then I learned that the archdiocese sent out an appraiser to go and appraise the building. And that the appraiser came up with, I was able to, through the um, attorney for the sisters, um, and I, he and I got into a big shouting match one, one day over there because um, he thought he was going to come and intimidate me, and, you know, tell me what was going to happen. Um, and I, I spent a lot of time negotiating over the years, you know, not just as a lawyer, but even as a student. Yeah, I was a student negotiator with the law school dean. I was a student negotiator with the president of Loyola, you know. Um, I was the one that had dealt with the school board, in, even in high school. Okay, so... I had, a, I had experience with that kind of a personality, you know, that was not a problem for me. Um, and uh, when he raised his voice, he thought I was going to be intimidated, I guess, and I raised my voice, so we can do that all day long. Anyway, um, the, the uh, archdiocese wanted to sell the building, so I went and met with, or, or wanted to, you know, did, did the appraisal. Um, and so I went and meet, met with the real estate person for the archdiocese. I said, well, you know, what about this? You know, what can we do? Um, can we get the building for less money? Um, because the sisters had said, if we ever sell the building, we would want to sell it to you, and we would give it to you at a discount, the way we gave it to the boot. We gave this other property we had in Corvallis uh, to this Buddhist outfit, even though it was worth more, we, because it was going to be for a real good purpose, we gave it to them for less, and we would give you the same kind of consideration. I said, great. So I signed, I applied for a CCHE grant on to just to buy the building for a million dollars, okay? The city, uh, the um, archdiocese had gotten the appraisal at 1.55, I believe, uh, was the appraisal on the building. So I figured, okay, a third off, you know. Went to meet with the real estate people up front of the um, archdiocese and the guy said, can't do that because we're in the middle of this pedophile scandal thing and if the archdiocese has to go bankrupt we cannot be seen as having given away assets it will affect a bankruptcy filing okay so we couldn't give you a discount okay yes <laughs> isn't that interesting for self-help graphics for self-help graphics we, they could not give us a discount because of that okay so things were left at that um, because we couldn't get them to come in at, you know, give me a, because what I wanted was a, a letter that would go in with the application that would say, look, the building's worth 1.5, but if you give it, if CCHE, if you put in the million, we'll take off the other five and everybody will be happy. Yeah. Okay. The community will be happy. The archives will get some cash. C uh, CCHE will be a hero, you know, 
uh, and 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 but I couldn't get the Einsteins to do their part. Okay, so everything's swimming along, and then I get a call on July one, I think, two thousand and eight, saying. Uh, we just let you know that yesterday escrow closed and the building has been sold. Okay. Never told, you know, said, you know, we're selling the building, we want to make an offer. What? Because they knew that once they announced that the building was being sold, the whole community would be up in arms and they probably would force them to give us a discount, to do something, you know. Uh, so they sold the building out from under us. I don't know for what they sold it. What, what they sold it for? I estimate that they sold it for somewhere between 1.2 and 1.3 million. Okay, they did not sell it for the 1.6. Okay. Um, then of course we got into a slow campaign to try and, and do something, um, which I knew was not going to be successful because it was a done deal. There was nothing that could be done. Okay. The question now was, what was self help going to do? I know that people are attached to the building, symbolically. I am, you know, I've been going there since it opened in 78. I, I was at South Help when the old place, when they were over on, on the third floor of the Southern uh, building, above um, the LA Center for Law and Justice. 1975 was the first time that I went to South Help Graphics. I was still a student at Loyola. Uh, so I knew Carlos Bueno artistic director, I knew Sister Karen. I did legal work for, for Sister Karen after I became a lawyer, trying to collect on prints or collect prints back, mainly. Um, she would always say, but I'm not going to write a letter that's too harsh. You know, she was like, okay, Sister, you know, I'm a lawyer. I'm supposed to write a nasty little letter saying, hey, you better give this back or else, right? Oh, I don't want you to be too hard on them. Oh, okay, Sister, you know. Anyway, um, uh, um, so I, I, you know, I love the place, you know, and, and um, but I also am realistic about, you know, the future, I think. Um, and I didn't see where somebody with a million bucks is going to come by and say, here, um, that was just not going to be in the cards. You know, the chances of that happening were pretty nil.